welcome back to my kitchen for the first Tuesday test drive of 2009. I have to admit that this is the first time I've done a second shoot because the first time I went on and on about the product and was so overly excited that I kind of hurt for myself a little bit. So I'm now redoing it and trying to lessen the excitement a tad. Um, I introduced a few weeks ago the Misfit Seal of Approval and my plan for that was just with the new year I received an onslaught of products to review. The majority of them I wasn't interested in, more the quick fix diet products or diet pills that I really did not want to try. But I went through the remaining products and thought most of them look like things I would enjoy, you would enjoy and find beneficial. And I wanted to have an upper level seal of approval for those products which after trying them, I'm going to keep using or keep doing in my life. Just that upper level of things that I really think are worth the money, add value, help us save time, perhaps in the long run save money with regards to medical bills and things in our health. So this first product of the Tuesday Test Drives for 2009 actually gets the Misfit Seal of Approval. It's a company called Zoe Foods and they make bars and cereals. I didn't try the bars. And I didn't try their O's cereals, but I did get this lovely baseball cap, which I love. And I had the opportunity to try their granola. The one drawback to the granola before I even tasted it is the price. I am not one to bulk at paying $3.99-ish for a box of cereal. It is expensive. I would rather cut back in different areas of my life and spend a little bit more on food that I think is good for me and good for my family, but it is a little bit expensive. Once I tasted it, however, I was sold, and once I looked at the list of ingredients, it was something that I would choose and will choose to keep buying. You can buy it at Sam's Club in more bulk, so it lessens the price a little bit. One of the first things I liked about it will come as no shock, that there are 8 grams of protein in each box, which I really liked, and I also adored that it has about 1,300 milligrams of omega-3s by way of flax seeds in the granola as well, um, which can spare some of you eating your flax straight out of the bag if you don't like it that way, as I do. The flavors were good. Uh, my favorite was the honey almond. My daughter's favorite was the cinnamon raisin. I'm not a big raisin fan. It was fine. It was something I would keep eating, though, just because it's good for me. And my husband was left with the cranberries and currants and says that he liked it. I like the texture of it. It was more chewy. Some of the granolas out there are so crunchy. I don't know if it's an age thing, but I don't like it. I like mine a little more on the chewy end of the spectrum. And I really like the company. They have an amazing website. They have a health newsletter that they send out giving you tips on how to stay healthy. Their January newsletter talks a little bit about New Year's resolutions. So as a company and as a product, I really like Zoe Foods, and I will keep doing the granola, even though it costs a little bit more than what I was currently eating for breakfast. So this is my question to you. Do you want to try some granola? I have some granola to give away. And please do hit us up in the comments and say what your breakfast currently is and why you should get some free Zoe granola to try and perhaps shift you like I've been shifted to eating granola by Zoe in the morning.